Hi, my name's John, and today I'm going to show you how to program key fob transmitters into the Gate 2 DG. You'll notice that I have removed the plug in radio receiver, which is normally located here in this orange block. And because of that, if we scroll through to number two on the menu, transmitter, and press OK, it'll say no receiver. So the first thing we have to do is plug in the radio receiver. To do that, power down the control panel. Now plug in the radio receiver. There's only one way to do this. And power back on. Now with the power back on and the dashes on the screen, press the up button until you get to number two, transmitter. Press OK. Start will be the first option on the menu. Uh, other important options include partial start or pedestrian start, external module, stop, unlock, delete transmitter, and clear memory. And that's quite an important one to remember, and I'll explain why later. Finally, we also have end, and this just brings you back out of the menu. So, in transmitter, press OK. Start will come up on the screen. Press OK again, and it'll say press button. Now press the button on the key fob transmitter you want to add to the system and it will say stored and give you a, a number. In this case, this is the first transmitter we've added to the system, so it's number zero. And now if you push the key fob, you'll give a start signal to the gate. One thing to remember is that there are two versions of the Cochinella roll. There's a new style and an old style. Uh, they'll look very much the same. But what will happen on site is uh, when you try to program in an, a new style uh, Cochinella roll to an old site, you'll get the following reaction. So basically nothing will happen. The transmitter won't program as though it's a different type of transmitter. The way to solve this problem is to take your Cochinella roll Ladybird transmitter, press and hold the two buttons down, and uh, after a few moments, after a few seconds, you'll see the LED light on the transmitter begin to blink. And there we go, and it's blinking in pulses of two to show that it's changed into mode two. Take your fingers off the buttons. Now you can go back to the transmitter menu, press OK, start, press OK, press button. and you'll see that it's stored this time. SEA has three types of key fob transmitter. You've just seen the Ladybird transmitter or the Cochinella roll. There's also the Smart uh, eCopy transmitter. And finally, there's also the Head transmitter, which is a rolling code transmitter. The universal receiver that's plugged into the control panel will accept uh, signals from any of these transmitters, but you can only use one type at a time. This means because we've programmed the Ladybird transmitter to this control panel already, uh, when we try to program the smart transmitter in, it won't work. I'll just show you that now. So we go to number two transmitter, press OK, start, press OK, press button, pressing the button here, and it doesn't work. Let me just show you a timeout and go to end. There we go. If you want to switch from one type of transmitter to another type of transmitter, uh, what you need to do first is to wipe the memory and then program in. Uh, 
uh, all of the new type of transmitter that you want to use. So for example, what we would do is in the transmitter option, we press OK, start would come on the screen, and we'll scroll up now to clear memory. So there we go. And now press and hold the OK button. You're going to be holding this for about 15, 20 seconds, something like that. And uh, eventually OK will come up on the screen. There we go. So now if I go through the programming sequence again for the transmitter, I'll be able to program in the smart transmitter. So I'll just do that now. So transmitter, press OK, start, press OK, press button, and if we press the button, stored. This concludes basic transmitter programming. Uh, we're going to do another video next time where we're going to look at how you use the transmitter to put the receiver into learn mode, or how to copy a transmitter so you don't have to access the control panel to add new transmitters to the system. For more tutorial videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.